what is up guys Northside here welcome to my channel thank you for the support of the previous videos shout out to my uh, channel members the newest one I'm gonna put your names in the pinned comment no worries there um, just a quick uh, update on the giveaway um, you have uh, today's Friday so tonight tomorrow and on Sunday evening I'm gonna uh, do a raffle and pull out the winners for the legendary tensor and the four other prizes and uh, I can now tell you that the next giveaway will be a legendary glorious resurgence pack plus five more prizes and another boots of uh, misty step so um, I wanted you guys to know that <coughs> so yeah um, uh, you can go on my channel check it out and uh, hashtag tensor and your ad handle please make my job easier now uh, this video is about the dread enchantment however uh, it was requested not just by one person but by many of them so I took uh, Dread Enchant for a ride, um, I used a single target controlled um, environment with a combat advantage uh, on a, I don't know, two minute samples with the at wheels, trying to maintain the, well, the similar, you know, number of swings and hits and whatnot, and also uh, I compared it to a Biltorn, uh, and uh, it's really devastating on a, on a single target, and uh, also I will provide the act logs from the Infernal Citadel, where I went uh, with the Arbiter with 50% outgoing healing, uh, uh, where I actually took this um, infamous uh, rusted iron leggings. <coughs> Pardon me, I have some throat problems. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, and uh, which decreases incoming healing by 25%. Uh, I will, h I'll leave the, I will have some commentary about this boot. So in this test, I took, uh, as I said, the dread through Infernal Citadel up to the first boss, so it's only an AoE test uh, in an uncontrolled environment and a uh, single target test was controlled environment on a dummy in a child because um, that dummy only procs, procs everything. Uh, th are these dummies here are being really bugged. I don't know why, Tenebrous is not working on these dummies and whatnot. doesn't matter, off topic. Also uh, I took it, took it through layer of the layer uh, of the Mad Mage up to Arcturia, no problems. Um, I will show you how uh, I was controlled by a by a soul puppet. My cleric uh, is not even that good geared. Like I said, 50% outgoing heal. It's I think it's an arbiter. I will show you in the logs uh, and I will show you in the video how it looked like. However, keep in mind that uh, these boots, um, as I said, I, I will comment on, comment on it later. But when when it comes to uh, unavoidable damage, the damage that needs to be absorbed, where the Paladins or outward paladins shine really with the, uh, you know, you, you don't want to be in a fucking negative outgoing healing. So what I did, I actually uh, had nine percent incoming healing, but I gotta tell you that I do have four tactical enchantment rank fi fifteen, and they're not cheap. And also I was using luring insight from the uh, Stone of Allure with ten percent incoming healing. So I have you, you guys keep that in mind. Uh, for soloing, these boots are perfectly bit <coughs> best in slot. That's there's no doubt about it. Uh, party composition I will, I will speak about it also uh, after we go through the dreads so um, let's just go through the basics currently uh, why why the dread I don't know why dread is uh, being so um, so sucky but here's the deal uh, our main 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 uh, income my my uh, the barbarian uh, main at will uh, is relentless slash which is this where we got uh, actually two strikes as you can see um, one from me one from uh, my counterpart as I call it and uh, basically uh, the how the dread works uh, every one second you will do um, 10, 10 magnitude va poison damage um, to the target every four seconds meaning during four seconds you will do 40, 40 magnitude uh, necrotic damage sorry it's not poison it's bile torn so uh, when you hit the target it's going to do one two three four which is 45 if i if i crit uh the 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 dread will the dread will hit also okay uh again i crit it and again and now i didn't and here we go you see that it's not critting and it's not benefiting from my counterpart now here's the deal uh with the dread enchant in particular um, if we switch to bile turn for example, and let me show you what's happening here. This is absolutely crazy. Um, bile turn, um, just for a reminder, 
it will do 40 percent weapon damage only after four seconds so in in theory if my math is correct i'm not really good at math i can tell you that <laughs> um it should be the same as 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 the dread but the results are like really like crazy 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 bad so what happens when i do a relentless slash with a bile turn one two so now we're gonna wait for four seconds one two you see we got two two ticks so not only this first one actually procced but look at now one is always going to be a crit the left and the right is going to be non-crit it's actually um i could be off i don't know i got a lot of videos to do i'm tired as fuck doesn't matter i wanted to do this video regardless uh off point again uh now like i said if i hit it just once after four seconds it's gonna proc uh and it's gonna benefit from combat advantage of course uh because the this guy ahead is giving me you can see the blue blue marker here so as i said one two so instead of getting just one hit one proc we're getting two procs now if I crit, even if if it's both crits, one is gonna be crit and non-crit. So I do not not know why the dread is not benefiting from my uh, counterpart from the relentless slash. I really don't. I mean, it would be only fair. I mean, if you look at it, why would we? It sh in my perspective, it should be one, two. Those are two hits. Now we got one, two, three, four. Now, the damage is similar, it's almost like it's compensated, you know, but uh, when I show you the results from the single target test, it's just totally, absolutely crazy uh, how much Bileturn is outperforming. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to mix Vorpal into this, because I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, obviously, the Vorpal is still the best choice. Uh, it's universal choice, Vorpal will always be Vorpal. Uh, now, in my tests, um, I went with... Uh, these stats you he see here mine is the compi uh, i removed the compi somebody asked me how much compi is giving me for my base power of 205,000 compi is giving me 10,000 uh which nets me 3.7 percent extra damage okay so keep that in mind yeah okay if you want more information go to jane's site o awesome awesome uh, information is there uh you sh i'm gonna leave a link in the description anyway as i usually do uh, now what I also did, I took baby owl bears for a walk. So you guys also asked me about the owl bears. So in this one test, actually, I did. Um, I tried out how dread is performing in the live environment, controlled in single target environment. I tested out some incoming healings. Turns out I didn't die once in Lom until the Arcturia. However you got to keep in mind that uh, I'm going to go now I'm going to tell you my, my opinion about these boots uh, first of all you know uh, it's not for if you if your healer cannot out heal paladins uh, I'm not even going into warlocks because I don't know much about it so I'm not going to talk about it you know I don't want I don't want to bullshit too much but make it easy on your healer if you are uh, if I am like capped I am capped for the new content and I'm on totally over capped for layer of the mad mage of course hence why we managed to just walk through it um the two of us uh and he's not even that good cleric so he doesn't even play a cleric he was just you know trying to heal i'll show you soon um uh, if you are capped on defense and, and stuff like that uh, and you know if you're being enough dumbass to not avoid uh obvious red uh telegraphs on the ground you know um, not not doing not protecting yourself and you are uh, using these boots and you're into the and you're running into negative and then you fucking die bec and then you blame your healer then you should go fuck yourself you know don't do that you know don't be a bitch because there's a lot of boots i can't show you now but there's a bunch of boots that you can actually use to um instead of these boots i can use these boots probably i still need to do some testing s when the mod 18 w goes live but for now, you know, it's okay, it's not that bad, uh, it, these boots are a risk, uh, you know, they have a certain risk uh, with the reward, 5% damage, the absolute bis, uh, minus 25% uh, incoming healing, but as I said, I am wearing 15 tacticals and a pet with 10% uh, incoming healing, uh, so I will show you, I got overhealed, uh, but uh, when it comes to the boss mechanics where you 
have to um, and also hit points are also very important don't forget about that so we got I uh, what 350,000 hit points this is a preview so I would have even more um, keep that in mind that uh, it was it, it is an end game barbarian you know it is an end game bar barbarian and you know just just keep that in mind and these boots are easy to obtain I, I always already made a map I'm updating the map for tomorrow's video or on Monday I will see well, when will I upload it everything you know need to know about mod 18 uh, it's easy to obtain you still have the old boots the other boots um, that can be used are also good so uh, you know if you see you're dying and you're doing your best just change the fucking boots you know uh, you know because po when it comes to some certain boss mechanics you are going to eventually die with these boots or not you are gonna scroll up yeah, like, you know whoever is telling you otherwise is bullshitting you and keep that in mind but if you're doing your best yeah um, just don't use the boots for soloing you know go wild go crazy just use them they're fucking awesome okay so um, let's check out how it went into LOM uh, and I will show you the logs from Infer Infernal Citadel single target logs from the act and also from the Lair of the Mad Mage okay you can see us here approaching um, actually uh, the shadow and I purposely let her take me okay so let's not drag this too long uh, as I said uh, you can monitor my health I'm totally immobilized uh, I'm not using the uh, insignia that is healing me while I'm control or whatnot uh, so I wanted to see how much he can actually out heal not die himself from the ad it grant Xanatar is not that uh, that you know he's not hitting that hard but he had to take uh, care of me and of course uh, my uh, himself right from the spectre uh, actually it's, it's a spectre not Xanatar so he continued doing this for a while so that's why the run uh, up to Arcturia took a little a little longer actually otherwise we like to walk through it it's it you know we would we could uh, debate it's an easy dungeon but uh, you know easy dungeon it's the last dungeon uh, I'm not counting the trial of course but you know keep keep in mind that uh, it's it's uh it is an endgame dungeon so i just wanted to see how much he can actually out heal uh because you can see the xanator actually the the shadow actually hit me it's hitting me for 40 40 40 24 thousand per tick and uh it actually proc 196 times until the actual um shadow released me okay the shadow actually released me at one point and um we, you can see how the uh, how the healing is working here uh, on an arbiter um, with some 130,000 power, 150, I don't know, a lot of crit and 50% uh, outgoing healing with all those extra added bonuses. You can see the shadow releases me here and uh, that was game over. Uh, the rest of the run went pretty smoothly. I just actually um, uh, wanted to show you this part and uh, we're gonna jump to the act logs now. Okay guys, let's go quickly through the act logs. You can always pause this. Uh, I marked uh, the dread, not, not all, on all pictures, but uh, you can see the total dread uh, damage was 3 million. Uh, it was a dread test. I also wanted to see how much I can survive in Lom and Infernal Citadel up to the first boss uh, with 9% uh, incoming healing and uh, my Arbiter. Uh, now also you can see uh, the percentages baby all the presence did very nice 5% um, damage to 2 million uh, granted I was only on the one, one and only DPS there okay uh, so keep, keep that in mind you know you gotta keep that in mind so it would be spread it would be probably lower however it doesn't matter now uh, total damage doesn't matter um, dread did as I said, 8% uh, total. I, th I don't know, I think that 5% uh, necrotic from all the enchants that base damage is calculated in this and it makes her viable. However, still, I think still it sucks ass and the lightning is still, still the best for AoE and also you can't go wrong with Whirlpool. From a barbarian point of view, um, we're gonna switch now to Infernal Citadel. Let me just see really quick if I can if even do that yes there we go Infernal Citadel um, now Infernal Citadel as you can see Dread uh, of course it's almost 100 million damage because there's a lot of it's much harder dungeon that's one and there's much you know HP on the on the mobs 
um, you can see the Dread did uh, 8 million damage here, but still uh, Dread is uh, in the range of 9%, which is, um, I don't know, kind of, kind of bad. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's still very viable, okay? We gotta, we gotta make you guys. I gotta make that clear for you guys. It's still very, very viable. Okay, Oliver in this case um, did a little less, four percent, and um, Tenebrous. Let's mention that is always two percent. I think, in my case, uh, still Blitz was activated here. Also, uh, I went in with uh, 146 percent critical severity, plus the five percent uh, from the companion equip. And it uh, so I can compensate that crit severity. So I have a lot of crit severity, even though I'm not using a warble. I use barb strikes and steel blitz. Not using actually um, trample the fallen in this case. So now we're gonna move on uh, to uh, this is outgoing healing from my cleric from Infernal Citadel. You can see how much he did with healing word bastion of hell, guardian of life. Uh, the clerics were no. The effectiveness is on the right side. Crit chance, what not. Uh, and also, um, f this is from the Lair of the Mad Mage. Um, he did pretty pretty good for a two-man party. I think it was okay. Uh, and uh, that's 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 about it. Now uh, this is a Bile Torn uh, control test of two minutes. Now we repeat this test test numerous times. The numbers are always the same. You can see the total damage is almost 22 million. Uh, please pay attention to Balton weapon, which is 6.5 million damage. Uh, Albert proc 10 times, te uh, Tenebrous proc 21 times, uh, which is kind of irrelevant now, but I want to mention it. Uh, Balton uh, did 30% 30, 30 uh, damage total. Uh, from this is only an uh, uh, at will run for slash test, okay? It was really controlled. I pay attention, so keep that in mind. Um, also, I had full uh, full combat advantage all the time on the dummy. Now, if we compare this to uh, Dread, you can see that Dread did only 1.4 million. Absolutely horrible. Um, comparing, that's only 9% damage. Uh, Dread should be avoided for single target at all cost on a barbarian. My pr my humble opinion. Uh, it is just absolutely crazy how badly it performed. Now, uh, does it bile turn? Is it broken? I don't fucking know. Uh, our attack speed is extremely high uh, when we go into battle rage. Uh, however, uh, in a control test uh, with an uh, enchant that should proc pr similar, it's just poison and necrotic damage. Uh, is it uh, every 4 seconds 10 magnitude or after 4 seconds 40 magnitude? I don't know. It should be the similar or same. Uh, and obviously it is not. So this is a single target dread, um, dread test. Uh, but the here we got Albert proccing five times, Tenebrous 19 times, versus um, Tenebrous 21, and Albert uh, 10 times uh, on the Bile Torn. So this is Bile Torn with 6.5 million, and this is dread with uh, measly 1.4 million damage um, total added. Thank you for watching. Uh, uh, suggest me videos but I do have a few uh, already I need to record so uh, whoever contacts me on, on discord or email or uh, in the comments I'm gonna try to provide okay guys so thank you for watching this is it for now and I will see you soon okay bye bye